football is said to be a game of inches. Gamecock wide receivers Demir Bird and Bruce Ellington aren't letting their lack of inches keep them from making big plays. I'm, I, I can jump, I can run fast, so I think uh, I catch the ball, so I think that's, you know, that's good as a receiver, run, jump and catch, so I think that's all you got to do. <laughs> Ellington and Bird are both 5'9", and currently number one and two on the team for receiving yards and receiving touchdowns. Being undersized has forced the pair to change the way they play the position. I just have to find ways around people. Um, can't really get into the physical aspect of the game because obviously I'm undersized compared to safeties and corners. The Gamecock receivers coach Steve Spurrier Jr. knows it's unique to have a tandem where both are under six feet tall, but he's not surprised at how they've overcome the height disadvantage. Yeah, take advantage of what their assets are, which is speed and quickness. And um, and Demir's one really who's played well because I mean he still weighs 170 pounds. He plays well, plays tough, makes a lot of catches, but he can run. And Bruce is quick and strong and and knows how to play. We've given him an opportunity to kind of find some areas to run to, and they've done a good job getting there. Both receivers have heard they're too small to make an impact at this level, but the naysayers don't get under their skin. If anything, it makes them work harder. I, mean, I, I, I get that a lot, you know, with football and basketball, but, you know, it, it's just something that God has blessed me with, and I'm going to continue to go out and just play. Yeah, I put in a lot of uh, off-season work um, in the weight room, catching balls, trying to get a little bit stronger. To put this into perspective, some of the top receivers in the SEC are six foot five and six foot four. But the Gamecock duo aren't letting their 5'9 frame translate into small performance on the field. Both players are top 10 receivers in the conference. Considering their size, the statistics are impressive. However, these two aren't getting wrapped up in the numbers game. You know, I want to go out and make plays, and whatever happens, then it happens. If I'm top 10 or if I'm top 50, you know, it doesn't matter to me. They may be two of the shorter receivers in the SEC, but don't tell them. All they do is make play after play after play. Nathan Canofcoon, Carolina News.